2018 Rolls-Royce Phantom first drive when only the best will do. Lucerne, Switzerland, every car, regardless of where it is designed, built, or sold, can be described as a series of compromises. From economy hatchbacks to mid-size sedans, full-size pickup trucks to hybrid supercars, meeting a very specific set of criteria means intentionally missing all the rest. And so it is with the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Except that the only compromise worth talking about is that the buyer must possess a price's no object desire for perfection. Before handing over the keys to a brand new, 8th generation Phantom, and shortly after rattling off nearly every positive tinged adjective in the English language, Rolls-Royce communication director Richard Carter tells us that this car represents the best that humankind can do in terms of luxury automobiles. A heady claim, but as it turns out, one that is difficult to dispute. Perhaps the biggest single element that advances this new Phantom past the model it replaces is Rolls-Royce's new architecture of luxury, a ground-up space frame platform that doesn't cheer its bones with any other product currently under the BMW umbrella. Not only is it 30% stiffer than the 7th Gen Phantom, the new architecture is flexible enough that it will form the basis for all future Rolls-Royce products. Project Cullinan and eventually the next Ghost, Ray, Don will ride on this architecture, as well as future coach build projects, said Philip Cohn, director of engineering for Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce goes to great pains to make the Phantom as malleable to the whims of its customers as possible. Besides the obvious paint and interior color choices, of which there are a great many, there's now a so-called gallery option that makes up a large portion of the dashboard. It's a glass enclosed space designed to house just about anything a Phantom customer could possibly want to put on display. We saw some beautiful ceramic work, jewel-like shell designs, and even a swath of iridescent feathers. Directly in front of the driver is a digital gauge cluster designed to mimic the look of traditional dials. Its resolution is high enough that individual pixels can't be made out from the driver's seat. We think some classically styled gauges would be more in keeping with the Phantom's mission statement, but that's our only gripe inside, and it's minor. A centrally mounted LCD displays all the pertinent information a driver could need, and a slightly modified rip on BMW's iDrive software package is controlled through a leather clad module that pivots from the center console. Phantom 7 was still selling at a brisk pace by Rolls-Royce standards when it was discontinued last year, so it's not surprising that Phantom 8 doesn't rewrite the styling rulebook. There's a large, upright grille at the front, a long and graceful arcing hood, and an almost windswept greenhouse with an extremely tall roof in order to keep the passenger compartment as large as possible. We didn't test the capability ourselves, but we're told that the rear door openings were designed to accommodate passengers wearing large hats or turbans.